What is good, y'all? Sean Spoon Game back up in there with this Saints rebuild, baby. We are here, ready to get live and active once again. Fresh off of a three-game win streak. But before we get into that, man, how you guys doing today? Hope you're living blessed and wonderful. Make sure you guys comment down below if you're enjoying the series, anything that can be added to it. Hit the video with a like and share it out with friends and family. We need more people running up these gaming videos, man. I need to see more views, at least a couple more likes. If you watch it, go ahead and drop a like button. Uh, drop a like for your boy. We need to get this channel, or not this channel, but we get these views these videos some more views so when the new channel comes it'll go ahead and take off over there too you see you see i just had to slow it down get some bars in real quick we're gonna be all right but like i said three game win streak we're three and one right now about to take on minnesota who is two and two we got a player uh moment scenario for mission deontay harris over here man star development he's our number two receiver He's out there doing his thing basically on the outside and getting me a whole bunch of big plays when it comes to you know yards down the field 100 yard games if it's not cole stewart having 100 yard games it's this boy deontay harris man he's an absolute beast i mean don't get me wrong mc still had this thing on, on his side but look thousand yards last season 12 touchdowns we loaded this season stats already has three games over 100 and the fourth game that he didn't he still had 69 with the touchdown so he's been productive all four years and i think it's long overdue so I'm ready to see if he goes in and gets this superstar upgrade. It could be really helpful. And here with the weekly strategy, you know, we got a three-game win streak, so it's kind of go ahead and let everything go. Get a little bit, you know, get a little bit of rest. Y'all get to go half pass this week. Still going to go starters only uh, for both sides of the ball. And taking on Minnesota, it's a definite defender run. And with all the speed Devin Cook has, I think outside is for the best. Now you go over to us. I think we had a really good game throwing the ball. Uh, let me change my game plan though. I'm not really going to defend the blitz. I want to go with the throw at medium. I think we've done really good, you know, working in that medium range of the field, finally getting out of some of my short passes. We're not seeing a whole lot of deep passes, but there's no reason to cover the blitz when they only do it 31% of the time total, only 29% zone man. So a lot more zone coverage. We can attack the middle of the field. If it's covered too, we can attack deep, but middle of the field is going to be our main focus. Go ahead, come over here one more time and change this down to half pads. And there we go, man. We should be ready to rock and roll. Got the game plan set up. Got everything that we need. Going to go ahead and get into this training. You see all the focus players, the people that we really care about and need to get better. Adebo, you should get better than the 75, my dog. Getting crispy out there. Upgrade here for Devin Waters before we go into the game really quickly, which haven't seen too much from him. I think we saw him give up a catch last game. So we're going to work on his zone coverage to get him better overall. Get him into a position where he can take over for Malcolm Jenkins. He will be gone soon. So if he can play that sub linebacker role, with a bunch of good zone, I'll take it. Plus five pursuit. I mean, I'm not mad at that either. 54 block shed, so he's not much of a runner. 63 play wreck, 69 zone, 61 man. Got some things to fix, but I think I like I like the speed. I like the pursuit, especially now with that plus five. And I think we can get the zone coverage up there where he can be a good sub linebacker for the future. <laughs> opportunity to show why we're great <laughs> we need it today because Dalvin Cook probably gonna get a heavy dose of him today glad we were able to get him down first off no yards run defense one of the best in the league I'm glad we've seen an improvement from the defense like I said last year was a very bad fall off uh, from what we did a year ago Kirk Cousins out of the pocket good save it's a fumble come on ah oh, he fell on it okay fair enough good sack fumble there but I wish he would have been able to take it to the end zone. But now we got to see that man, Josh Garland, get us some points. Defense gifted you a gift. Could have got seven, but it's okay. Offense will go score. I ignore the 10 interceptions. Just as I'm talking about the defense getting better, Reggie Holt gets in for his first career sack, too. That was sack number one of the career. What a good time to have it. Alvin Kamara to the outside. Looks like our run game is just as bad. Pete couldn't get out there to make the block. 
We're here to see that man, Traquan Smith, who must be bottom of your screen. Looks like two by two set here. Alvin Kamara once again getting the ball. Our pass game gets set up by a run. So I'm not mad seeing Alvin Kamara go this early. Do want to see us start to pass the ball a little bit. Would hate to get a three and out this close. We got gifted red zone first drive. We got, oh, throw that out to uh, AK was in the flat. What are you, Garland, what the heck are you doing? I know I said I wanted Harris to, you know, get some of the love, but not interception love. Not what you expect when you get a good turnover like that. Let's just do it again. It's all good. We'll do it one more time. Back in the pocket, throwing out. That's a quick throw and dot. Marcus Davenport is down with an injury, which could be a severe blow to the defensive line. McCole Hartman with the catch. That'll bring in Reggie Holt to move to the outside so he won't be in the rush defensive tackle spot, which we're used to seeing. See if he gets some more pressure out there. Hand off Dalvin Cook. That's great. Keep running the ball because I mean, we're, we're prepared to stop that with or without Marcus Davenport. Nobody going up. A couple routes short throw quick, and he is wide open. I think that's Adam Thielen getting enough. Oh, and my bad. That's Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback now for Minnesota. No longer Kirk Cousins. We've got Jimmy G getting out of San Francisco and going to Minnesota. How many of y'all want to see that in real life? I don't know if I'll see that. I mean, they do need, you know, maybe a better quarterback. Maybe they feel Jimmy G might be a better fit. Could work out. Let me know what you Minnesota fans think down below. Drop back. Play fake there. All day in the pocket for Jimmy. Throwing deep. Yes, we were able to knock it out, bro. I thought he caught it. It looks like that might have been Marcus Williams there coming in late to knock it loose. So now we got a third and ten. Marshawn Lattimore is in X-Factor mode. He's palmed up, ready to throw, go out deep. That's one-on-one -on -one with him. It looked like he might have got beat there. CJ might have just saved his life. And it looks like they're going to punt the ball back to us. With the room, now we get to go ahead and see if we try to hit Harris here a little bit more. I'm interested to see one of these 100-yard games. Three of the four have been 100-yard games. There you go, read option to start out early, though. Looks like we're trying to set up the run. You know, I put the, the focus was supposed to be, you know, pass middle, but set up the pass with the run. I'm okay. Really good rush defense by them too. Like they're playing just as good against the run as we are. So something else got to change. Good drop back for a pass. It's a screen to the outside. Our screens have worked before. Offensive lineman just missed his block there. It looks like Kyle Fuller. And we were not able to get any yards. That we're going to have to punt it right back to them. Very tight game here. Some quick drives going back and forth. Turnover. Quick three and field goal. And then two back to back three and outs basically. Let's see if we can, either one of the teams can develop a drive here. Ending out the first quarter, we're not even, we're only halfway through. Hand off again, Dalvin Cook after the great run last time. We get in the backfield. Zach Bond there, they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. Or at least at the line of scrimmage, third and one. They're probably going to hand it to him again, watch it up the middle. There you go, hand off. It was a trap play and we're there. Did Tim Settle get him in time? It'll be fourth and inches, what do they do? Oh, uh, yeah, Coach, what you, got, what you got drawn up? Okay, yeah, I like that play call. Mm -hmm. I probably would have did that, too. Yep, yep. Oh, never mind. Wouldn't have did that. <laughs> I want to see some offense here. We've seen a very defensive game here today. Let's see some offense. Fine. There you go. AK with a good run to the outside. Three yards is better than what we picked up earlier. There you go. Garland. Some time in the pocket. We'll throw it out to the flag. Mushing and getting his way to the first down. That is the rookie. Cole Stewart, right? I've told you I'm so excited about this dude. Love what he's done out of the slot so far this year. Should have three 100-yard games himself. But, you know, the end glitch. D'Angelo still getting his feet in. He's when I hold this football, bro. It's, it's all different when I got the rock in my hand. Then we start playing like we know something. Alvin Kamara starts getting some yards and stop getting one and, one and done, basically. Got a third and one here. I'm not mad at a run up the middle to AK in a pistol. Hand off to him. There you go. Just get enough for the first down. Let's keep moving. Okay. Looks like we got a pretty clean pocket to work out of. There goes his first target of the day. Just could not hold on to it. This is why I wanted Cole Stewart to get the, the chance. He would hold on to the rock. Ooh. Okay. Formation switch up from trips to two by two. What's the look here? Drop back. Pretty clean pocket. Throwing out short. We're trying, Harris. We're trying. Second target of the day. Second drop. The first one was more so his fault. That one was kind of like knocked out. Probably shouldn't have threw it to him. Need a deep pass play here, though. Clean pocket throwing out. And he's found his receiver. That's Michael Thomas for his first catch of the game. Not enough for the first. 
We going for it, though. I'd like to see us go for it. Let's go up to the booth for a little bit. Let's see what uh, goes down in the second quarter. Can we continue to play the defense that we were playing? Are we going to see some more offense? Who knows? But so far, it looks like Justin Jefferson leading his way down the field. Moving the ball here for Minnesota. Jimmy G is looking like a solid option for them. You know, still would like to see them run, lean more on Davin Cook, which I think would still help for them. Okay, uh, back to pack penalties basically offsets them back where they were. A good drop and another defensive stop for our defense. Now let's see if our offense can move. Can we see a big play? Anything happen? Six yards to Deontay Harrison's first catch of the game. About time to get on the board. How you gonna have a breakout player chance and not touch the rock basically all game? Hard for either team to really pass the 50 yard line. Oh, there goes a big pass to Wayne Roberts. Justin Jefferson following it up. And looks like they're at the 50 yard line. So are we finally seeing a little bit of O? Just when you think the defense tightens up. Ben don't break defense and it don't ever fail you. Like you can give up some yards, you know, give up a couple first, but as long as they don't score, just get three, offense is gonna carry us out, man. So looks like we're going on a very run heavy focus here today. Big pass play, back to back. And we're almost in scoring territory, almost at halftime. I didn't mean to push the button that many times. Let's go slow, Sim, what happened? 30 yards to MT and then 28 to Alpha Kamara on back-to-back -back pass plays. There goes that notice again, that capture card. You know you don't it. I'm not mad at passing it down here though. You got plenty of time, 49 seconds. Don't have to run it. But when you got AK, it's a guaranteed touchdown when you do run it, baby. Let's go. Back into the booth. We are finally got a touchdown. Looks like we will go into, oh, big pass play. Hold on, they gonna get, they gonna get a chance to score? Justin Jefferson for 29 yards from Jimmy G. We gotta go back into the field for this. Hold on. They got two timeouts, enough to at least get three here. Can the defense hold? Drop back, we've never really let them pass this point. Almost got the sack, getting it out to Dalvin Cook. Up to the 30 and they'll use their second timeout. I wanna see another sack fumble, I love that. Looks like Marcus Davenport is back on that right side of the defensive line. Throw out quick, what are you doing? That's why Devin Waters gotta upgrade the, the play wreck. I don't know why he was just standing there looking at the QB while the receiver was running across his face. Let's go, just go with the field goal here with 10 seconds. Look, go ahead. Go into the halftime up 10 to 3. I'll take it. Or if they miss. I, lo I love that. 10 to 3. Time to kick off the second half of a very defensive game. 10 to 3 here after we've seen some high scoring ones. Let's see if we can get some more offense working. We passed the 50 finally. Thrown away though. Second and 7. Not the way. And once again, a drive stall. That 50 yard line is like a curse, boy. If you can. If you can conquer that, you might get some points, but it's been hard for either side to really get past that yardage marker. First and 10 here, looks like they're approaching the 50. Thrown away, 14 yard pass to Jefferson Jefferson. Seven yards to Irv Smith, we gotta get, this is the first time we've seen them, other than that three points, get past the 50 yard line. So let's get in. Come on D, don't tell me y'all done got all the all the energy out of your system now i mean i admit it we should probably be scoring a little more for y'all there we go marcus davenport getting them down the backfield last game we held last game we watched at least we held them to uh nothing but field goes to the very end and then obviously you saw i had to you know quit out but there we go i need more malcolm jenkins hard hit his shoulder knock the ball loose let's answer now man we've been kind of quiet it's 10 to 6 still so we want to go ahead and put some more points up Reward the defense for being great. I'm going to come on to the outside. One man to beat Harrison Smith. The, you know, sure, tackling safety. He's able to get him down. But huge play right there right off the gate. 17 for 71 already on the day. Let's see if we get to 100. Ripping off 21 off rip. That's great. Now let's pass this barrier and get into this end zone. Riding it out again. Another handoff to AK. Not much room on the outside this time. They was ready for it. Okay, now we're going on a steady stream of Alvin Kamara. Uh, it's kind of working. It, it's worrying me a little bit, though. Like, we don't need to just run, run, run. Let's pass this ball a little bit. These DBs can't be that great now. Third and three. Split set here. Hand off once again, Alvin Kamara. I mean, hey, if he's going to get enough for the first every time, though, I'm not going to be mad at him. If you're going to run like that for me, shoot. Go ahead and get 30 carries. There's some motion. So it'll be another run up the middle. There you go, AK, dragging his way forward. He's looking strong. Looks as about as strong as you can get for a running back. He's running through defensive tackles, through linebackers. And that's not even normally his game for real. Like, he's more shifty. We haven't seen too much of that. Oh, yeah, right over the middle. Yep. 
There we go. We've seen the catching part of his game. Only 11 for 17. Now I see why the score is so low. He's not throwing the ball that much. Uh, definitely not down the field deep. Probably about 10 yards at a uh, completion. Not even an attempt. Put your foes up. Put your foes up. Put your put your NT in the slot. Okay, I like it. Maybe it's going to be a good pass play over the boat. Oh, throw out quick to D'Angelo Steele this time. Breaking one. Breaks two. Oh, okay, I thought we was about to go to the crib on that one. Broke one. Broke two. After the good run there by AK, we are now four yards away. Let's get one more touchdown to really put this thing away, man. Hand off. Alvin Kamara, who's been leading the whole drive. Be careful about that rock. I like it. I like the aggressiveness here. What's, what's the call? Oh, not a QB draw. I like the aggressiveness. Just not the play call for the aggressiveness. That QB draw is not going to work that close, man. Unless we had Lamar, maybe. Throw out quick, though. That's a touchdown catch. Who is that? Is that Harris? Getting his first one of the day. I don't know if he's going to get the breakout player chance, but at least he's scoring another touchdown. That's three and five games. One more stop, and this thing could be completely over. We shouldn't see much Dalvin Cook here. A lot more pass plays should be coming, and that means Cameron Jordan is going around the edge. Get me another scratch. Jimmy G, you don't got the time that you think you do. You better get that rock out quick because we own you. There you go. Yeah, get the ball out quick. And when you get it out quick, ain't nowhere to go either. Oh, wow. They got it out really quick. Trying to test Paulson. It's worked in the past when you run that quick slant on him. This time he's showing a little bit better. You know, he's showing he's watching tape, getting a little bit better. Cameron Jordan, how do you get from – you just on the field making a sack. Why are you on the sideline? Oh, and they putting – Give me my rock. Hey, give me my rock. This could really put the game away if we score right here. It's basically going to be all but over. You know you're going to see a heavy dose of Alvin Kamara, which is a good thing because we'll run some clock and a bad thing for them because they saw a heavy dose of him and we scored a touchdown uh, dropping all the way up the field because of it. Second and six. You want to see another run here? Nope. Drop back. Throw out quick. Michael Thomas on a quick stop route. Getting enough for the first down. Keeping the chains and clock moving. Drip, drop, drip, drip, we need drop. That's all I need. To, that's all I need to hear from the time clock, bro. I need to get slower. Oh, uh, did they do another QB draw out quick this time? Gave me some positive yards. We at the 50 yard line. Run defense hasn't really been there for Minnesota. At least here late, all day in the pocket, no pass rush. That's Deontay Harris first long catch of the game. Finally getting some rack yards there. I think that I mean it's not like he's anywhere close near his goal, but that might be like his second catch of the game. Oh, third catch, 43 yards with a touchdown. Yeah, that's not going to do it to get the goal unless he has just like a monstrous like next drive. Like we score right here. He scores a touchdown. We get the ball back. He scores another one. That would probably be his only option. Alvin Kamara on the draw play, breaking one, getting taken down inside the 12-yard line. That's what I like to see, man. Looks like we're going to at least keep our win streak here for yet another week. Four games, drop back, clean pocket again. Offensive line has been playing great. Can we give a shot? Can we give a big body shout out to the offensive line? I have not seen no pressure. I don't think I've seen them get sacked maybe one or two times in, during when we was up in the press box. But I haven't seen them really get sacked all game. He's had all day to throw when he's had to sit back there and wait. Look, waiting, waiting. Nobody open. And finally found Cole Stewart, the rookie. Once again, showing up, going off. He had a simple job. Hand off to AK, get the touchdown. We just didn't get the touchdown. Oh, but I mean, when you can do that to Michael Thomas, it's just as easy. You feel me? Stop route, catch the rock, pay dirt. Get a little bit to this drive up here, see if they do anything to make it seem interesting. Uh, third and one, thrown away, fourth and one, thrown away. We got the ball right back, so nothing much on their end, man. We basically run the table here. Doesn't look like they're, well, that was a two minute warning. Let's see if they use their timeouts. None of them coming off, so we're gonna be able to drip this clock away. Oh, we're still passing. Another field goal to tackle more points. But it was a great dub here today, man. Offense played great. It was a really slow start, but we were able to come away in the end. Defense kept us in the game. So glad to see that they're back to their normal selves, playing good, playing great as they should be. And oh, 26 yard pass deep. Oh, 20. Oh, okay. Now y'all wanna show up on some offense. It's too late, Monty. You got 20 seconds left. 13 yards, yeah, look, they ain't even gonna get in the end zone. Time's gonna run out. 
Okay, incomplete pass. Are they going to get in? Let's see if they get in. Hold on. This might be interesting. If they get in, let's see. This should be going up on Friday. If they get in, I'll do like a, I'll do an episode Wednesday and I'll double upload this on Friday if he gets in. If they get in the end zone and y'all want to see it, y'all got to like the video too. Put it in the comment section if you saw this to, to call me out on it if I don't do it. Third and goal, five seconds left. Are they going to get in the end zone, man? First time that they, it's the second time that they've had to score like late. Throw out. Dang. They really, all right, y'all got to call me out on it though. If I don't see no comments about it, I still ain't doing it. I say it was a pretty dominant dub. Y'all gotta let me know what you think, man. 27 to 13, but they got that garbage time touchdown at the end. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. It'll make them feel better. 251 touchdown for Jimmy G. 178, two touchdowns for Josh Garland. Really had a great game. Let's see. Does it show uh, sacks in this menu? I want to see if he... Okay, we'll go to the offensive line and see if he really got sacked like that. I don't remember ever seeing him really touch the ground unless he was running the ball. 119 in the touchdown. AK really led the way, showing why he's big man on the offense. 66 yards and a touchdown for Thomas. Let's see, Harris finished with 43. So that's not going to be enough to do it, but shout out to another touchdown. And we can't let this happen. Now, granted, two of those catches that made that happen were the garbage time ones. So, you know, yeah, we'll call, we'll be easy on it. You know what I'm saying? Garbage time, uh, garbage time yards. Not really going to be affected too much when we get to more games. But yeah, we ain't give up no sacks. We had three of them, but they didn't give up none of them. So shout out to the sack masters, Cameron Jordan getting two, rookie Reggie Holt getting his first one of his career, leading to a force fumble that almost scored us. But we did our thing, man. Got in and out, very good dub. Defense looked great. Offense shaky at first, turned it on in the second half. Really into like that fourth quarter. Really, that was all it is. So really proud of my team, man. Four one, let's go. What I tell you, coach? I said it was one of the best players of the team. I think I proved it up there. Keep feeding me. The what? I'll take it. Hey, hey, hey. We'll take it, man. Deontay Harris getting the superstar development. I mean, he did score a touchdown. We didn't throw that much, uh, leading to him not even – none of our receivers had 100 yards. So, it's not even like we were passing that much. Quarterback didn't even have over 200 yards. So, I get it. Superstar uh, receiver, superstar X Factor, and upcoming rookie. With a superstar X Factor uh, running back. We might not need a new quarterback. Everybody else around him playing great. Got another spotlight here. Let's see who they want me to keep my eyes on this year. Strong safety, Devontae Batten. Uh, outstanding product other than other prospects in terms of football IQ. I'll check him out because, I mean, you could end up meeting, like, you know, another strong safety. Like I said, to look. here he is, Devontae Batten, 22 years old, left-handed out of Michigan State. Okay, don't run to me, lefties. Always look for massive pits, so he's probably got, you know, very good hit power. Always looking for intercept passes, so maybe good coverage. You know, I see D-man coverage. Maybe his zone is better. Motor always running hot. Often looks to rip ball from runners, which could be pretty good. Typically avoids getting flagged. So having all those traits of, like, always getting massive hits, trying to get to the ball, ripping the ball from runners, and still not being able to get flagged might be a good combination. We've got solid to good speed. Uh, strength looks like he was good. See hit power, D-man coverage. We might keep our eye on that one. Not that we're going to look to probably draft one, but round two to three, maybe. To go along with that, it looks like Paulson Adebo thinks he he that dude now. So, man, secondary was locked down. Best game I've had in a long time, another week like that, and I'm going to feel like I arrived. I hope you do, Paulson. I hope you do. It'll help your development and maybe keep you as a number two corner, actually. So, this could be great for our cornerback dip, and we might not need one as bad, at least. We still, we still going to need one, though. One, two, three, four, five dubs in my bank account. In my bank account. What? In my bank account. We beat the Lions 35-28. They were only one win of the season, so I was hoping we did. Ooh, looks like it was a crazy fourth quarter. They scored 14. We dropped 21. Not what I thought. I thought it would be more of a blowout, but 269, three touchdowns, and a pick for Jared Goff with three sacks. Huge interception day for Josh Garland, but we probably led a little bit on the run. 78 in touch or two touchdowns for AK. He rushed in himself. Nothing really from where's he at? Crawlers. Only three yards. Maybe I need to try and work him into the field a little bit more, but I honestly have no desire to do that when AK is rushing like this and beasting and feasting like that. No desire at all. 76 and a touchdown here for Harris. Another game without getting 100 yards, though. But Cole Stewart, 5 for 59. Uh Quintez Cephas? Cephas? 77 yards? Good for you. I mean, I hope that means then 
we gave him a lot of passing yards. I don't think we probably got the DB scenario for uh, Paulson Adebo, unless he got an interception or something like that. Let me go to just our team. Did he get the stats maybe that he needed? Paulson Adebo, five tackles, four solos, one assist. Didn't do anything else really, so, oh, no, no, that's just two catches allowed. Yeah, I don't know if he got it, man. I really don't think that he did. I'm frustrated, man. I'm angry. I hold myself to this higher standard. Didn't live up to it today. That's cool. We didn't get it. I mean, we gave up a lot of passing yards today. Uh, he just wasn't quite ready for prime time. It's all good. Nothing to feel bad about. But next time out, we're going to go ahead and end it here because the season is getting interesting. We got Tampa Bay up. They are 4-2 still. Atlanta's 4-2. Carolina slipping behind just a little bit, 3-2, and two, but they've already had our, their bye week. We're 5-1 leading the way right now, but we're going to put our five-game win streak on the line. We're going to go back home and face this heavy-hitting Tampa Bay squad. Let's see what they're looking like now. At QB, Cam Newton with Kyle Allen backing him up. So maybe we can get some pressure in his face, cause some bad throws because they don't have him as good overall here. Ronald Jones Jr. in the backfield. The wide receivers, you got Chris Godwin, Mike Evans still. So really two, one, two punch there. But now they got Paris Campbell. So no number three that I really would fear at least. I mean, it's still pretty good, but we still got to worry about this. So Paulson, you better... Yeah, if there was ever a time that you could have upped your development, it would have been that as week. Because <laughs> we're going to need you to shut out one of those two. OJ Howard still at tight end. This offensive line, are they looking weak anywhere? I mean, left tackle was at a 77. Ooh, right guard looking kind of weak. So some weak spots, we might be able to send some pressure through, send some gap blitzes through. Defense, looks like we can possibly run all day on this. And then I saw the linebacker. Okay, we might run that side with JPP. And the DBs, I ain't worried about them because my receivers are amazing. They're great and they're ghosts. Season's getting crazy. We're doing way better than I expected. And I'm so glad that the team has finally come together, finally playing like I thought they should. Offense is doing really good. Defense is playing really well with the 12th best offense, but number two best defense, second in pass defense. You know me, I'm rush defense first. The rush defense, number one, I can, I can care less what the pass defense is because most likely it's right behind it. And it's not like I'm gonna have the first best rush defense and the 32nd best pass defense. We're gonna be close, but to have the second best pass defense, Shows we doing something right. The DBs might not be high overalls, but they doing something right. The linebackers doing something right. That's why you get the pass coverage linebackers. I'm telling you, I know what I'm doing. Coach Smooth knows what he's doing. Is this the year? Leave it down below. Is this the year? Are we in Super Bowl window time period? We better get there because, you know, the cap space problems are still, still matriculating. We're slowly fixing it. Slowly got some of the big contracts out the way. Slowly fixing it. And it helps that we got a rookie quarterback, so we got that rookie QB deal. But we got to hurry up before he get out of that rookie QB deal. So I will catch you guys in the next video, man. We will be taking on Tampa, going to the bar, we get some of these contracts taken care of, and either simulate through Carolina or something, depending on the next two weeks. So if they fall off and they're three and four, we'll simulate through it. If they are right there in the mix of it, we might watch it again, or at least a little bit of it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's been your boy, Shut Too Smooth, aka Black Okage, Black Avatar King Leo, aka Coach Smooth. And we'll see you guys next time. We're having a little movie day instead of practice. You boys are playing phenomenal. Peace.